guys, Redbeard here, and uh, for this week I'm really going to do a review on a piece of uh, equipment that I've been testing out, uh, pretty much pretty re egg jewelry. Um, this is a very popular thing along a lot of Millsim players, um, it's the Oakley M-Frames with the Helo kit. Um, so here they are. Basically these are Oakley's uh, shooting glass as they are ballistically rated. On the Halo kit is simply a piece of rubber, rubber piece that basically costs I think about 25 bucks or so um, to get. What that does is attaches because as you see this is the amber lens, I have an amber lens and the uh, dark lens that it actually comes with. And all this little piece does is attach to the frames like such, push in and that will actually create a full seal along your face. So in essence, basically what Oakley kind of came up with, um, at least in terms of Aerosoft or whatever, is a shooting like shooting glasses that you could wear um, that still give you that full seal, um, which gives you an interesting uh, option because I know sometimes um, some goggles like uh, the flak jacks that I used to have or uh, ESS like turbo fans and stuff like that, they can be a little bulky at times. And that can cause some issues with um, being able to comfortably wear that with like a helmet if you're wearing it um, or even a hat for some cases. So this is offering a low profile, more comfortable solution to them. But here's a few things that I've noticed actually through using them. Um, granted, despite what you may think, your preconceived notions, this is, was mine, that basically you're putting on shooting glasses with a little bit of a rubber uh, insert. Um, for me, I did and do have um, fogging issues with these. Um, without using any kind of anti-fog solution, um, they do tend to fog, um, or condense, um, or actually have, like, water actually form on the lenses, um, as you actually work out and you start running around, um, and you start building up that sweat, it does tend to fog. Um, what I have found out is that if you use the Revision Fog Shield Sport here, which is by Bosch and Lawn there, these ones you can get, I know, for a fact, you can get it at the local store if you're around in Western New York and the Rochester air area at River City air Airsoft. They're about $250 a pop. Uh, pop. And what it does, it gives you an anti fog solution wipe that basically just wipe down the lens or the inside of the lens. Then you buffer it off and then boom. Um, that actually did work out this past weekend when I played it at Inter's End um, for the most part. Um, eventually, it does wear off and you do get that condensation, so you really have to work on trying to get the airflow going. Um, a couple of different ways which you can kind of do that but for the most part you're gonna have to kind of trust these um these wipes or some kind of anti-fog solution however um there is some things that are coming along with this i know in some places um now that people are actually starting to um, not allow people to wear these because you can easily take the inserts off um which can cause some issues or the fact that there is no backing strap however from oakley you can actually buy the um, retention strap for about 15 bucks or so but if you're a cheap bastard like me just take some paracord cut a little bit of strip of paracord take some electrical tape place the paracord on the outside portion of the frame take that tape and wrap it around that creates a nice little retention strap for not even really if you have all the bucks there maybe like five bucks or ten bucks for the cord but it's a hundred feet of cord so break that up that's stupid cheap um that's actually how i ran mine this past weekend um, so I plan on using them more. Um, I have used the Valken Zulu goggles, which run about 40 bucks or so. Um, I've actually had really good luck with those. It's another low profile solution. It's very much similar to this. Um, not quite, um, in terms of the actual foam and the bulkiness, it's kind of nice. The only difference with those is you, um, if it's happened to be particularly sunny, um, and you want to have that darker shade, you actually have to buy a separate pair of goggles which some people may not like to do, and that could run you up pretty much almost 60, um, 60 bucks or so. Um, these are expensive because the actual frames, actual sunglasses themselves, um, in some places you can buy them for 180 bucks. Um, some places you can buy the kits with at least three different lenses with a case um, for 200 bucks, stuff like that, and that's without buying the Halo kit yet. Um, I happen to get mine, God forbid I forgot where it is. I'll probably put it in the link here. Um, it's like a military tactical gear place where they were selling just the sunglasses with just the dark lens for I think like 160 of 160 and then you can actually buy the individual lenses for like 60 bucks or something like that so for about 200 bucks ish maybe I think 180 by the end of it when it's all said and done 
I have um, the two lenses that I would need. I got the amber um, orange, which actually helps illuminate, especially when the light starts to get a little lower. It actually illuminates the dark spots around the darker areas. So you can actually see a little bit better longer at night um, as the sun starts to come down. And then I have the um, darker shades, which are the ones that came with. So when it's really sun sun sunny, I can actually put these on and uh, be pretty com comfy. Don't have to have that glare or the sun in my eyes where I have to squint the whole time. Um, it's a pretty decent um, method, but for the price point, I would actually look into getting something maybe like the Falcon Zulu got ogles for Airsoft. I like them because some people like shoes, like like to buy really fancy shoes and stuff like that. I like really expensive sun sunglasses. If you can't tell, Oakley is kind of my thing. Um, so I'm just a weird dude like that. Um, so I'm gonna keep wearing these. Um, but as I said before, for the price point, not exactly quite a good alternative in terms of if you're looking to get away from that one-time eye pro solution to get that anti-fog. But if you do happen to want that more millisim type look while having that um, good full seal eye protection as long as your field allows it with that retention strap because that's what River City actually allows is I just have to put on a piece of paracord on the back of there so that way if I do fall they won't come off my face and I'm going to get shot in the eye and bad news bears just prevent that. Um, so if you actually use these in conjunction with these fog wipes um, which I plan on doing then you have a pretty good solution that will help you keep that millisim look and all that fancy jazz um so that's my little review of the oakley m m m frames be sure to like and subscribe and uh keep following uh gun game gamers i'm redbeard